Hello students. Welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through rational numbers. Today, we are going to see the representation of rational numbers on a number line. As we have seen in our previous video, a number line is a graphical representation of numbers, where each point on the line corresponds to a specific value. It helps us visualize and compare different types of numbers, including whole numbers, integers, and rational numbers. Whole numbers include all the natural numbers, that is positive numbers along with zero. Integers include all the whole numbers along with the negative numbers. Rational numbers include all the numbers that can be expressed in P by Q form, where P and Q are integers and Q not equal to zero. For example, two by three 1 by 2, 4 by 3, 0, 5, etc. For understanding the basics, do watch the introduction to Rational Numbers video by clicking on the pop-up or the link in the description box. Now let's further examine how to represent rational numbers on a number line. We can classify rational numbers into two types. The first category is the one in which the modulus of the numerator, n, is less than the modulus of the denominator, d. For example, 1 by 2, minus 1 by 4, etc. And second category is in which the modulus of the numerator, n, is greater than that of the denominator, d. For example, 9 by 4, minus 9 by 4, etc. Let's start with rational numbers in which the numerator is lesser than the denominator. First, consider the rational number 1 by 2. To which side of 0 will we mark 1 by 2? 1 by 2 is a positive rational number. And we know that all positive numbers lie to the right of 0 on a number line. Here, in 1 by 2, we can see the numerator 1 is less than the denominator 2. When the numerator n is less than the denominator d, the positive rational number lies between 0 and 1. Draw a number line like this. The number 1 by 2 lies between 0 and 1. Let's focus on the line segment between 0 and 1. Now we need to divide the line segment between 0 and 1 into equal parts. How many equal parts is the question? The denominator d tells us the number of equal parts into which the section between 0 and 1 should be divided. Here the denominator is d equals 2. So we divide the line segment between 0 and 1 into two equal parts. The numerator n tells us the number of parts away, starting from 0 where the rational number lies. Here, the numerator is n equals 1. So we take one part from 0 and mark 1 by 2 here. Let us look at another example say, minus 1 by 4. Here minus 1 by 4 is a negative rational number. And we know that all negative numbers lie to the left of 0 on a number line. Since the numerator 1 is less than denominator 4, we know minus 1 by 4 lies between 0 and minus 1. Draw a number line like this. Let's focus on the line segment between 0 
and minus 1. Remember, the denominator D tells us the number of equal parts into which the line segment between 0 and minus 1 should be divided. Here, the denominator D equals 4. So, we divide the line between 0 and minus 1 into 4 equal parts. The numerator n tells us the number of parts away from 0 where the rational number lies. Here the numerator n equals 1. So we take 1 part from 0 and mark minus 1 by 4 here. Now we will try to plot rational numbers whose modulus of the numerator is greater than that of the denominator. Let us plot 9 by 4 on a number line. Here we can see the numerator 9 is greater than the denominator 4. Such fractions are improper fractions. First, 9 by 4 is a positive rational number. Hence this lies to the right of 0 on the number line. The next step in problems where the numerator is greater than the denominator is to convert the improper fraction into mixed fraction form. For this, divide 9 by 4 and we get 2 1 by 4. By doing this, we are converting the improper fraction in the form n by d into the mixed fraction in the form q r by d where, in this case, n equals 9, d equals 4, q equals 2, and r equals 1. Here, q equals 2 is the integer part, and r by d equals 1 by 4 is the fraction part. The integer 2 tells us that the fraction lies between 2 and next integer 3, that is 9 by 4, lies between 2 and 3. So draw a number line, like this. Since we determined that 9 by 4 lies between 2 and 3, let's focus on the segment between 2 and 3. The denominator d of the fraction 1 by 4 is 4. So divide the segment between 2 and 3 into 4 equal parts. The numerator, r of the fraction tells us the number of parts away from 2 where the rational number lies. Here, numerator r equals 1, so we take one part from 2 and mark 2 1 by 4, or 9 by 4 here. Finally, let's look at minus 9 by 4. Minus 9 by 4 is a negative rational number. Hence, this lies to the left of 0 on the number line. We can write minus 9 by 4 is minus 2, and 1 by 4. The minus 2 tells us that the fraction lies between the integers minus 2 and minus 3. That is minus 9 by 4, lies between minus 2 and minus 3. So draw a number line, like this. Since we determined that minus 9 by 4 lies between minus 2 and minus 3, Let's focus on the segment between minus 2 and minus 3. The denominator of the fraction 1 by 4 is 4. So divide the segment between minus 2 and minus 3 into 4 equal parts. The numerator tells us the number of parts away from minus 2 where the rational number lies. Here, numerator is 1, so we take one part from minus 2 and mark minus 2 1 by 4 or minus 9 by 4 here. Let's have a quick recap. How to represent a rational number on a number line. First, check the sign of the rational number and determine to which side of 0 the rational number should lie. If the modulus of the numerator n is less than the modulus of the denominator d, the rational number lies in the segment between 0 and 1 
or 0 and minus 1. Divide the segment into d equal parts. Mark the rational number n parts away from 0. If the modulus of the numerator n is greater than the modulus of the denominator d, convert the improper fraction n by d to mixed fraction q r by d. The rational number lies in the segment between the integer q and the next integer. Divide the segment into d equal parts. Mark the rational number r parts away from q. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Represent the following numbers on a number line. 9 by 2, 4 by 9, minus 13 by 7. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.